Many people have been raving about the Kansas City Zoo's new polar bear exhibit. Nikita, 750-pound polar bear, has been wowing zoo visitors. The zoo's new $11 million exhibit was revealed in August, and somebody helped bring the polar bears to the zoo here in Kansas City. Robert Buchanan, CEO of the Polar Bears International, joins us here today. Tell me how you feel about Nikita in Kansas City. Uh, first of all, I am extremely proud. The Kansas City Zoo has done a brilliant job of taking this ambassador of the Arctic and putting it in a wonderful facility to help people understand that this is North America's iconic species. It is our elephant. It is our lion. It is so many things to us. And North America has about 78% of the population. So it's very important for us people in North America to understand the importance We're of this animal. We're seeing a video of the polar bear and all the kids kind of going gaga. And I'm one of those mm -hmm. that sort of gets that way when you see a polar bear in an exhibit. There's just something pretty amazing about this animal. Uh, how, tell me about your experience with the polar bear and how you discovered it and became so passionate about it. Well, polar bears have a very unique ability, unlike any other animal. They can look in your eyes and they can reach into your heart and down into your soul and capture something <laughs> like yeah. anything else else. We call it the connection. When you walk up there and Nikita does some of his swimming and he'll touch, you can touch noses with him through the glass or, or touch his paw. That connection makes you understand that we live in a very privileged time and that losing polar bears would be uh, like losing uh, the, some other precious animals mm -hmm. that we can't afford to lose. It's hard to imagine life without the polar bear. But one of the things I said to you is there are some that would say, well, you look at a picture of a polar bear in natural habitat, mm -hmm. snow and freezing temperatures. Mm -hmm. How could a polar bear be happy smack in the Midwest, in mm -hmm. the middle of Kansas City, where we only get snow a couple of months out of the year, and mm -hmm. you said that they adjust. They do adjust, just like human beings. Rather than having some six inches or four inches of blubber, they reduce it way down. And just like human beings that adjust the temperatures, these bears do too, as long as they have shade and water. And the sure. facility out at Kansas City Zoo is magnificent. You have to see it. How critical is the zoo environment to the survival of the species of the polar bear? Very, very critical. These are ambassadors of the Arctic. They're there to save their brothers and sisters out in the Arctic. Unless people understand that we will not have these bears by the end of the century, unless we do some serious changes in our mindset on how to take care of this planet. Planting trees, reducing CO2 by saving energy, or just buying recycle. These are the key things that have to be done. All right, you're here to spend some time at the zoo. You're invited to the last sunset safari at the zoo where you can watch Nikita do his belly flops and turns and touching of the glasses this Friday from 4 to 8. Thanks again, Robert, for being here. Thank you so much. And we'll be right back. Be